I told Yanjini to take Mbak's phones away, Malama. The EFF leader and recently fired Ministry of Police have opened up about how they really feel about each other now. And SAPC online video has been trending since Friday in which both politicians speak frankly about each other. The video is notable because the men were always firm friends in the ANC Youth League and the ruling party in general, but that became strained after Malema was expelled from the party. Said Malema, Mbolula is a hard worker, you can't take that away from him. He might have his weaknesses of wanting to behave like a celebrity and all of that, but give the guy a job and he will do it. He expressed his doubts that Mbolula had been the right choice as the police minister, but in the correct position he would always be a hard worker and deliver. Malema shared that he had been in touch with Mbolula and others in the ANC during the recent cabinet reshuffle in which Mbolula was fired. It was subsequently revealed that he was to be deployed to Luthanai House to serve as the head of elections for the ANC. The EFF leader said he had tried to encourage Mbulula not to tweet so publicly about his disappointment and to calm down about it. He apparently even asked ANC national executive member Tony Yanjini to take Mbulula's phones from him because he was beginning to tweet things that were out of character. He warned Mbulula not to behave in a manner that would discredit him in future. It was an immediate reaction and it's fine. They gave him something in the ANC. If he still believes in the ANC let him go and work and stop taking it personally. It happens. In his turn, Mbulula acknowledged that Malema had often had tough things to say about him, but he still respected his former comrade for never being fake or plastic. He said that when Malema and others had criticized him he had tried to use it a challenge to reflect on himself and see if perhaps he needed to take the words to heart, even if he was not ready to take it. He attacks me a lot. He tells me things I don't like. Nevertheless, he said he respected Malema for his forthrightness and that he, Bulgula, preferred to be someone who could be criticized for taking a position instead of always merely going with the flow. Late last year a Twitter spat broke out between the two over Mbulyla's holiday whereabouts, with Malema warning Mbulyla, it would end badly now you are talking rubbish and when I start you will be crying like a baby, Malema tweeted in response to Mbulyla's comments that suggested that Malema was trying to gain votes by criticizing Mbulyla's festive whereabouts. Malema had earlier posted a tweet criticizing the police minister for going on holiday to Dubai, the whole ministry of police is out of the country at this critical period of the year, talk of priorities. Crime is a serious problem in this country but leisure for our ministers is more important according to the conduct of ANC, ministers, C's. Mbulila retorted, it is leisure to be with family? Don't be desperate for votes you can do better don't doubt your support man, sick. He suggested Malema has the unquestionable right to engage me I'm not allergic to that. I must also clarify him, on, something, I don't do quite often. What followed was a torrent of defensive tweets from Mbulila about how engaged he was with his department and that crime-fighting initiatives were in full swing. It led to numerous heated tweets and counter-tweets from the two.